how are people protecting themselves, particularly indigenous community? And who are these loggers? Who is believed killed, um, uh, killed Paolo Palino? So, Maranhão, historically, is a place of a lot of land conflicts. And more of those, mostly of those conflicts began with the colonization of Brazil. So we have large landowners that are going, uh, going forward with the expansion of their territories. When you see how well protected the indigenous lands are, you understand economically wise why they want to, to invade such territories. So the killing of, of, of Paulo Paulino Guajajara and the attack that also suffered Laesio Guajajara, it's directly linked to that, to that idea, that, that idea of, of eternal expansion of the agribusiness which is something that, that we understand that it's impossible. However, the, the presence of the Guardians of the Forest, it, it represents heavy losses on, on, on the illegal business of logging and the selling of our woods. So it's, it's and, and when you see that all those landowners and their economic uh, uh, power it always translates to political power as well for the oligarchies presented uh, 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 that, that that take part that 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 is quite that is part of the 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 the, 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 the conjunctural context here in Maranhão. So it's everything is connected, and in, in in that sense of the the political rhetoric of Bolsonaro's and the invasion of those those lands and, and the overgrowing power of the, the larger landowners. 